Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a textured spot cloth. So as you can see here, this is what the spot cloth looks like. This is a simple pattern that only requires two stitches in the single crochet and the double crochet. The finished spot cloth measures nine inches across and nine inches up and down. So a nine inch square. And again, it works up pretty quick, pretty quickly. And I really enjoy this pattern a lot. So let's begin with today's tutorial. For today's tutorial, you're going to need an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. As always, I'm using the Clover Amore, which I will link below just in case you're interested in checking that out. You'll also need, need a pair of scissors and a measuring tape to measure your spa cloth. And the yarn that I'm using today is the Red Heart Scrubby Smoothie yarn. And I am using this in the color gray. You will need one skein of this in order to complete today's project. If you don't have this type of yarn, you can always use any other type of cotton yarn. So let's get started. First, you're going to need, need a slip knot. I will go ahead and link to my video below just in case you're interested in checking that out or need more practice. So to make the spa cloth, you're going to need to make a chain of 33. If you want to make your chain bigger or smaller, you simply want to do a multiple of three. So that means you're going to do 3 plus 3 plus 3 until you get your desired length. So for the purposes of this tutorial, let's go ahead and make 33 chains. So to make a chain, the loop on your hook does not count, and you're going to do yarn over your hook and pull through that loop on your hook. So that's one chain. So 2, 3, 4, 30, 1, 32, 33. Okay, once you have your 33 chains, you're going to make two double crochets in the third chain from your hook. So the loop on your hook doesn't count, like I said, and you're going to count three chains from your hook. So one, two, and three. So in that third chain, you're going to make two double crochets. Now I like to go in the back hump, but that's personal preference. I just feel like it makes a little bit of a neater edge at the end. Okay, so you made two double crochets. Next, you're going to skip two chains and you're going to make one single crochet and two double crochets all into that next stitch. So you're going to skip two, so one and two, and in that next one, you're going to make a single crochet. So to make a single crochet, you're going to do insert your hook, yarn over, pull through that loop, yarn over, pull through the two loops. And then to make a double crochet, you're going to do yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook, and then pull through, yarn over, and pull through the last two. And remember, you want to make two double crochets in that stitch. So this stitch is called the blanket stitch. I will go ahead and link below just in case you're interested in learning how to check that out or learning how to make that stitch and going from there. So to, re to finish this row, you're going to repeat all the way down until you get to the end of the row and then you're going to make one single crochet into that last chain. So again, you're going to skip two chains, so one and two, and then in that next chain, you're going to make one single crochet and two double crochets. So go ahead and do that all the way down, and remember to make one single crochet into that final chain. So let me finish that up, and I will meet up with you at the end of the row. Okay, this is what row one looks like when it's all completed. 
so to go on to the next row you're going to go ahead and chain two and turn so to begin row two you're going to make two double crochets into that very first stitch right here which is your single crochet from the previous round row so you're going to make two double crochets into that very first stitch okay and then after that you're going to skip two stitches and make one single crochet and two double crochets into that next stitch so you're going to skip the two stitches from before which is essentially the double crochets so you want to skip the two double crochets and in that next stitch or the single crochet you're going to do a single crochet and two double crochets all in that same stitch okay so that's what that looks like and then you're going to go ahead and repeat this all the way down so again you want to skip the next two stitches or the next two double crochets and in that next stitch or the single crochet you're going to do one single crochet and two double crochets when you get to the end of the row you're going to go ahead and make one single crochet into that final stitch so go ahead and repeat this all the way down and I will go ahead and meet up with you when I have finished okay and this is what row 2 is going to look like so as you can see you have your little bit of a texture starting so to continue with row 3 in each row after that you're gonna go ahead and repeat row 2 so you're gonna chain 2 and turn again in that very first stitch you're going to make two double crochets and then you're going to skip the next two double crochets and in that next single crochet you're going to make one single crochet and two double crochets all in that same stitch Okay, so you're going to repeat row 2 over and over again until your textured spot cloth measures 9 inches. So go ahead and do that and um, if you want to add an optional border, I suggest just making a simple single crochet all around and make three, or I'm sorry, make three single crochets in each corner. If you feel like you don't want to have a border or you want to make a different border, that's completely up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I will show you what the finished product looks like. So this is what the finished product looks like. As you can see here, I opted to make a single crochet border as I feel like it just completes the look a little bit more. But again, that step is completely optional. And again, I love this textured spot cloth as I feel like it's very um, pretty and I feel like it's very easy to work up using just the two basic stitches of single crochet and double crochet. I love the look of it and I think it's one of my favorite stitches that I've made. So again, this is what the spot cloth is looking like. And you can go ahead and measure to make sure that you have the length that you need. So mine measures about 9 inches, maybe a little bit more with the border. But again, you can always customize this spa cloth to make it bigger or to make it smaller, as long as you keep it in a multiple of 3. So I plan to put this together in a little spa set with my face scrubby pattern which I will go ahead and link below and I plan on putting those together and selling them as a spa gift set at my next craft fair. You can always send these to friends and family and I'm sure they would appreciate it.
And again, this is how to make the textured spot cloth. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see any future videos that I put out. And again, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial on how to make the textured spot cloth. Thanks for watching. Bye.